This is Tank's Vlog, June 15, 2018. <sighs> Wrapping up the day in sports. Mets at one time, or in this season, 11 and 1. And now in the last 12 games, they're 1 and 11. And I just. That 11 to 1 start was such. such so fraudulent. So fake. So unreal. It's hard to believe it even happened. This team is dreadful. Awful. Terrible. Inept. And it just never ends. They had three home runs tonight. And for the first time in nearly two weeks, 10 games stretch where they had a lot of off days in between, but a 10 day stretch where they actually scored more than one, more than one run, more than once in the game. But they've only scored in one inning. It's like they either scored no runs or they had one inning, and that's it, they scored. The other eight innings they didn't score. Or in the case against the Cubs, 13 innings when they uh, only got one run in 14 innings. They had three home runs tonight, got three runs, and then the bullpen falters. I mean, this, this, something's got to be done. Fire the hitting coach. Fire Pat Rossler. Something. Anything. You can't just keep throwing the same garbage out every night. They're grinding. We really like what they're playing. I like how they're playing. We're grinding. We're grinding. We're grinding, grinding, trying, trying, grinding, trying, trying, harder, grinding, 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 grinding. <coughs> it's like Richie Kotite when the Jets lose 36 nothing. There are a lot of positives out there today. Mickey Calloway really is Richie Kotite the second. He really is. And then. Jerry Blevins. What the hell, man? It's like, it's like, someone should look at him and you are here because of... What's your job again? Get lefties out. Oh, yeah, that's right. You can't get lefties out. How many times this year has Jerry Blevins been brought into a game to get a lefty out, one lefty out, or two lefties out, and he hasn't gotten anybody out. And Paul Seawald walks in the run, and then Jacob Rame, a poor prospect the Mets picked up last year. Jacob Rame, oh, he's getting hit hard, he is. Jacob Rame, when he comes and the Mets hopes go down the drain. Jacob Rame. Why wasn't Robert Gazelman put in Jacob Rain? Gave up two bombs to put the game out of reach. Because he really, really, really sucks Jacob Rain. This is who the Mets will get more if they trade to Grom. Jacob Rain. He's a type of prospect, Sandy loves Jacob Rain. He really, really, really does suck Jacob Rain. He's another bum that Sandy picked up, Jacob Rain. You are when the Yankees make big trades, when the Yankees sell off players and then they get their players back, like Geraldo Chapman, they get players like Gleyber Torres, whose three-run homer key to win over the Rays on Thursday night. 4-3 in the Bronx, a win that was needed because later that night, the uh, Red Sox with a brilliant performance by David Price edged the Mariners in Seattle 2-1. to one. Good pitcher's duel by uh, the Price and Felix Hernandez in there. Felix Hernandez, who has struggled most of the season, was the hard luck loser. As Craig Kimbrell recorded his 22nd save of the season. It was the Giants 
finally beating the Marlins six to three. It was the uh, Phillies all over the Rockies nine to three. Velasquez had a no hitter for a while in that one. Uh, we had the Tigers three one winners over the Twins. Indians beat the White Sox five to two. Astros continue their surge, beating the A's seven to three. The Braves doubled up the Padres four to two, and that was all the action in baseball. Light day on Thursday, as teams are typically traveling on these days. Uh, we had the World Cup underway now in Moscow in Russia. Uh, Russia just took it to the Saudis. Saudi Arabia might be the worst team in this draw. Uh, they're in Group A with Russia, Uruguay, Egypt. Um, I don't expect... Uh, the Saudi may not even like sniff a goal. Basically, they're going to be the Mets of the uh, World Cup tournament where they just can't do anything to score. Uh, so, Russia, 5 nothing winners... Russia's not that good. They they'll be lucky if they they got it. Their key matchup will be against Egypt. They beat Egypt. They'll be in the the, the elimination round. They can't see ya, or as they say out there, dash the gunga. One of the best matchups though of the early tournament in group play will be on Friday, the Iberia showdown between Spain and Portugal. Group B play. Uh, Spain fired her coach, so it's going to be interesting uh, to see how that how the uh, Spain reacts to that one. That's kind of a weird move. Mm -hmm. Portugal always solid, but just can't always get over the hump when it comes to these tournaments. Also underway is the U.S. Open, uh, Shinnecock uh, on Long Island, uh, golf course, golf course was the winner on Thursday as only four golfers recorded scores under par. One of them, of course, Dustin Johnson, the favorite. Uh, a lot of big stars. Rory McIlroy, uh, disastrous, disastrous the first round. Tiger Woods, the triple putting, triple bogey. It's so we'll see how the tournament shapes up. Uh, tomorrow it's going to be a lot of players, a lot of stars scrambling just to make the cut. And see if they could play a little bit better. Uh, it was very windy out there on Long Island. So, it's going to be a fun weekend. Uh, U.S. Open actually is always my favorite major. Because I think they pick the hardest courses. Have the uh, the best tournament breakdown with the top 60. Make the weekend. I just like it. And I, and I always like that a lot of times the scores are kept low because of the hardness of the course. Which does... Uh, creates a wild scramble on Saturday and Sunday. Today's three stars are Annabelle Sanchez of the Braves, who didn't allow an earned run in seven innings, allowing four hits as the Braves beat the Padres. Mike Clevenger of the Indians, who allowed one run, struck out 11 in seven innings, and the Indians win over the White Sox. And David Peralta, who had a pair of home runs against the hapless, helpless, hopeless Mets. Today's birthday shutout goes to Tim Lincecum, who turns 34. Recently released by the Rangers, it looks like his career might be over. This is amazing. This is a guy who was like a Cy Young winner, throwing no hitters, dominant. Top, top of the white Giants rotation, World Series performer, big part of the Giants winning the 2010 World Series, and all of a sudden his career went. It just hit a wall and poof. I mean, it didn't. It didn't gradually went down. It went poof, and he just can't get that magic back. I mean, this guy looked like a Hall of Famer, and now it's just like he just burnt out quickly. Poof. I mean, overall a great career, but wow, what happened to Tim Lincecum? And we take a look back to two thousand three. When David Robinson rode into the sunset with a second NBA championship as the Spurs beat the New Jersey Nets. Amazing. At one time, the New Jersey Nets were actually in the NBA Finals. And then they went. 
And now they're hopeless, helpless, inept. <sighs> My teams are killing me. Good day.